Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out a game called Antiseptic by developer Space Octopus Studios. This is a first person sci-fi horror game designed for the Asylum Jam Game Jam in just 48 hours. It's actually a pretty big team of people here as I show the credits. Uh, those are all the people responsible for this. This is going to be a basically completely blind episode. I've played like one minute into this, but I haven't actually seen anything spooky or had anything revealed about what's going on in this game. Uh, and sorry if you're any of the people out there that have been a little bit miffed that I keep doing horror games. It's just kind of the nature of how things go. Uh, when we get around October, people make a lot of horror games for all the game jams, and then they show up and kind of get filtered through the various avenues that eventually lead to me, so I'm also not terribly uh, averse to playing horror games, I just don't tend to find a lot that are fantastic, so I've been trying to broaden the scope of my search a little bit, so let's look at our controls, forward, W, left, A, uh, so W, A, S, D, pauses, P, uses E, left control is crouch, okay, so we might need to do some crouching, good to know, uh, without further ado, let's start up the game. Hello? Okay, apparently Tidy Pal is my best buddy, but I don't even know where that broadcast from. I don't see any speaker. Do you see any speakers? Oh, well, I can pick this up. Done. Uh, I don't know why I want to do that, but let's take a look around here. So this is an Unreal Engine 4 game, as you can probably tell by the fancy reflections and fantastic looking visuals going on right here. I'm starting to... Oh, I just threw the water bottle down that hallway. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem for anybody. Uh, so I am I used to be kind of shocked by how good these games looked, and I, I think I'm starting to get a little bit more used to it as more and more of them show up. But still, there is always that immediate moment of like, oh my god, these lighting effects and reflections are so pretty. And I'm kind of in that moment again, at least for the second or two while I'm getting acclimated. So we want to turn on the power here. It's a very bright neon light telling us that. And ah, there we are. There's some lighting effects. Look at how smooth and soft that shadow is. This is reminding me of that other survival horror game that I played pretty recently where I was in a spaceship uh, called Caffeine. And uh, yeah, I guess there's actually quite a few parallels to this and that. What's going on in here? Pick up. What is? I can't even tell what I'm picking up. Is it an audio log? Okay, that was like super quiet. That wasn't even just my audio levels. I I could barely hear that even with my headset on. Uh, I think what we're going for here, and pardon me if I'm spoiling anything because I'm just guessing. I don't actually know. Uh, but it sounds like. The two pieces of the puzzle that I can put together so far is there's a cleaning thing. I'm oh, sorry, there's three. Uh, the game is called Antiseptic. The first thing that played was a little commercial jingly thing telling me about my cleaning buddy. And then I picked up a thing saying that whatever something was was programmed poorly. So I'm starting to think. Call me crazy. Oh. All right. Spoop, spoopiness confirmed, I suppose. Uh, pretty sure what's happening here is we've got a rogue cleaning robot on whatever the spaceship happens to be. Let's call the elevator. Uh, I thought I turned the power on. Why is it so dark? Also, where did this thing even go? Does this hallway go anywhere? Mm, I'm walking around down here. It must have gone through a door or something. It's too dark for me to even tell what's happening. Can I go in? Can open up any time now. There we are. All right, where am I going? I don't even know what my mission is here. I guess just, like, get scared or something. Oh. That's not quite how elevators work, as far as I'm aware. I don't think I actually went anywhere. I think we just went through it. Okay, what's happening in this room? There's a blue light. Oh, it didn't even tell me I could jump. I guess I probably didn't need to know, though. Oh, look at that lens flare. Look how pretty. Awesome. Uh, I guess this is going to be another audio log. I'll try and be quiet for it, but it might be so inaudibly quiet that you might not be able to hear it anyway. Alright, something about it came from the tunnels, and it's still watching me. And then I found a little vent. Oh, spookiness? What did I even just do there? I used the security console. Is it coming for me right now? 
Are you coming through here? There's a lot of slamming going on, but I'm not sure quite from where. Reasonably scary sound, I suppose. Being in a tight, confined space probably seems like about the last place I would want to be if I was hearing that sound happening around me. Oh. Alright, that was a whole lot of nothing. That reminds me of that situation in Mist when you're in that library, like at the very beginning, and you move the bookcase over, and then uh, the door on the other side, like, starts making a horrifying sound for some reason. Uh, the place where there's, like, an elevator... It just starts slamming for some reason. I don't know why that... That traumatized me, I think, as a little kid. Because uh, I played a lot of Mist when I was very, very young. Oh god, the lens bloom effect, or the HDR lighting, or whatever it is. The contrast is so hard, or so heavy, that I can almost hardly see. Uh, let's get let's get some better retinas that can adjust to this light better. What do I want to do with this? Oh, I get it. That's probably Spooky Bot. Okay, that is actually pretty scary looking. Uh, so I think what we want to do is we want to grab the bottles and stuff and throw them around so it distracts it. So maybe this is just like a stealth game, actually. Oh, wow. Look at you. If you want to, like, grab that, that would be ideal. I guess we'll make another pass. Grab it. Nope. I keep clicking, and I mean to hit E every time I go by it. Yeah, come on, back around. No, nope, didn't get it again. Ring around the rosy. One more time. Oh, I got it. I threw it. It doesn't care. I do love Tidy Pal, but it doesn't seem to care about me very much. Uh, it's followed me through the room. You can see the red light behind it. Disposing of foreign substance. I'm going to get cleaned, guys. I don't even know if I can avoid it at this point. Oh, did I lose it? Maybe I got it stuck in that room or something. Oh, there's the red light. Okay, well, that's, you know, that's actually a fairly good use of lighting to convey a sense of, you know, reasonably minor terror. Okay, this is a bad place to be right now. Straight freaking corridors are not your best friend when you're being chased by a bad guy. Can I hide behind this holodeck thing? Oh, this is actually a map. I didn't even look at it really when I saw it. I was like, oh, it's probably some kind of schematic for a ship part or something. No, it's totally a map. Okay, so I guess we did take the elevator. It just went so fast I didn't even notice. Uh, so we're definitely going to have to go back into this area right here, but there's uh, an angry red light at the end that wants to say otherwise. Is it? I hope it doesn't get stuck at the end of this hallway. Come after me, man. Are you going to do it? If you get stuck in that door frame, I'm going to be upset because that means I just can't do anything. All I can do is walk into you. I think it got stuck in the door frame. Well, we can get a good look at it then. Oh, there it is. It freed itself, I guess. It's just having some AI troubles, it looks like. What are you doing, man? This looks like something out of the Matrix. Oh, what is the, the wheedling of the... Why do they spin like that? What is the point of those? How much closer can I even get? So it's grabbing, it's holding, and then it's wheedling. And somehow that's gonna destroy me. I think it's probably gonna suck out my insides. Can I just, like, sneak by this thing? Pretty sure I can't, but... Oh, there it is. Yep. I have been cleaned. Yeah, that's a pretty horrifying thing to see as uh, your life ends. All right. It's a, a rather Dalek-esque way to go, I suppose. Well, at least if their little plunger on the front of them has anything to say about it. So, I mean, I get what to do now. This is certainly not rocket scientist work here, or rocket surgery, whatever they say. don't even know if I need to pick up the audio logs, but I'll try it one more time anyway. Uh, so we'll go for a little jog down this hallway. I should probably uh, try and not go back into that hallway again, because that seemed like a bad idea. Okay, it's not pissed at me yet. I guess I have to go to the security console before that'll happen. Uh, you'll see its red light turn on, I guess, when it's in hunt and destroy mode. You know, I have to say, as much as it's a little bit cheesy, pretty good presentation qualities. I mean, the game looks good. It performs fine, except for the fact that the enemy got stuck on that door frame and forced me to kill myself. Uh, other than that, though, pretty much fine. Okay, I guess it shut instantly and... 
we're being transported up. Either that or they're giving us the illusion that we're actually going on an elevator ride, but in reality we're actually just standing still, which would not be vastly surprising. I think that's probably what I would end up doing too, because like, what are you going to do? Just play a little sound is really all you can do to give you the feeling of momentum when you're in a completely closed room. Okay, I'm going to go back through here right away, because that sound is really superfluous and unnecessary. Ah, uh, everything's fine again. Alright, let's pick up a... Oh, that's the audio log. I thought there was a bottle there for some reason. Oh, it's so dark, though. Is there anything over here? Forgot if I... Oh. I just opened the door to the security console from the other side. Okay. Then, you know what we must do. Can I hide in these lockers? Because that would be surprisingly wild if I could. This is actually making me wish Alien Isolation was coded in Unreal Engine 4. Actually, to be honest with you, I don't know what it was coded in, but it doesn't look quite as spiffy as this, so I'm just assuming it wasn't. Maybe it's got its own proprietary engine, or who knows what. Alright, so where's the red light start at? It's over on the other side, kind of just patrolling around. Let's see if I can grab this bottle first thing. That way I don't have to... Oh, there we... Okay, so it's a bit of a problem that the bottles don't always pick up all the time. Oh, really? Somehow it got me really fast that time. I thought I ran up that ramp before it could get near me, but evidently not. Well, uh, I'm probably not going to do trial and error mode on this for too much longer. I think actually that's about where I want to stop. But, you know, this is at least a good introduction, so if you want to go check out Antiseptic, not a bad game. Just uh, you need to do a little bit of... Repetition occasionally when you get accidentally killed. I don't think there's a way to save, otherwise, like, quick saving there would be ideal. Like, right before you go in that room, clearly. Also, maybe a little too dark at times, but I do also grant that it's probably intentionally dark for the sake of the atmosphere, which, uh, again, is very good. The atmosphere is totally solid here. Uh, the environment is convincing. Even the enemy is actually fair. Oh, well, I just said it was solid. Why do you have to do this to me, game? I was trying to make a point. There's actually seams across the entire floor that I didn't notice until just now. Guys, you gotta you gotta choke these suckers right up against the snap points, otherwise you end up with stuff like this. Uh, that's really funny that I said that, and then immediately that happened right afterward. It's also a little intersecting uh, moment of those two polygons Z-fighting there in the corner. Well, anyway, I, that's not a thing to really nitpick over. It's not that big of a deal. I also like this little triangle theme that seems to be re uh, repeated through a lot of the environments. Oh, this is actually happening on all sides. I wonder if it's... It doesn't kill the frame rate, right? No, it looks like it's fine. I was wondering if there was, like, Hall of Mirrors effect or something going on through there. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for Antiseptic. Go give it a download if you'd like. It's totally free. Like I said, it was designed in just 48 hours for Asylum Jam. So, uh, you know, good work, I would say. I would definitely be interested in seeing what these developers can produce again in the future. Uh, this is something that I could also see being elaborated upon, turned into a much fuller, bigger game. Uh, the, provided the game actually has enough meat to it that could keep it interesting for a long enough time. Granted, we've only seen a few rooms here, uh, but the rooms that we did see looked pretty cool. Uh, we'll, you know, give this another try maybe on a stream or something. This could be something that I'd like to see some more of. Just repeating the beginning over and over again is not really the most fun thing ever. Oh, why can I see better now? There's, like, fog here now that wasn't here last time. That'd be weird if I could just walk down this hallway this time and this door was just open. It's like telling me, uh, try it enough times and all of a sudden things change. Yeah, it's totally, like, bright now. I wonder if I broke, like, the shaders or something by looking outside of the geometry. It's like pulsating a green light. What a mysterious and strange thing. Maybe somebody that knows a bit more about Unreal Engine 4 can tell me what happened there. Or maybe it's gonna get dark when I call the elevator. Nope, uh, still pulsing. Actually, everything has that bright green fog over it now. I don't know what that's about. Also, probably should have mentioned before the sound effects sound pretty good as well. What's... what's that? What? What was that? That was spooky. That was unintentionally spooky. There was like a weird little... looked like a car jack. And I clicked on it, or maybe it just decided to start animating by itself and it just went down the hallway and disappeared into the wall. How mysterious. That must be, uh, like a trigger thing. Something that's linked to the elevator, because I think maybe... Oh, why would you put a visualized version of that tag in the game geometry where you can see it? 
Or maybe this was just supposed to be waiting cloaked in the darkness, and then you would see this walk by as you're waiting for the elevator to come by. It's just like a little extra added detail. I don't know what's happening here, guys. I like to speculate. Uh, feel, feel free to provide any information backing uh, stuff that you've got. I'd be interested in knowing more. And yeah, there's totally this green fog on everything now. All right, well, I guess I broke the game, so... <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. New episodes of Indie Impressions go up every single day. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like on it, and be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, too. New episodes again every single day, so I will see you back for another one tomorrow, and I hope you have a fantastic night.